Four jiggies down, six to go. Whoa, hey, hey, hey there, hi there, ho there. Down the gate. Use the shock jump disc and we'll reach the blue jiggy. Well, I, I tried, I tried to beat you to reach the blue jiggy. Hard to see your shadow on this level because it's so dark. And that leads back to the main area. Alright, what we're gonna do now, we gotta do a little speed run. So this little switch here, if we press it, will open the door of the church, but only for 14 seconds. Thankfully, we've got the sneakers! This is why I wanted to go to the church early, so I could break down all of the gates. We can't break down the gates with the sneakers. And the church can be a little dangerous. So I wanted to do this earlier. Oh my gosh, this music is so beautiful. So there are some ghosts here. We definitely want to use our gold feathers to take them out. There are notes on the pews, so make sure you get up here. I'd like to see more churches in video games. New Mario World. Mario goes to church. Yes, please. This is a small church, though. There are only four pews. Love the church organ, though. Holy cow. It is really beautiful. Both the music and the graphics. Ooh, interesting. Um, I think I'm good on the HP for now. I don't want to have to deal with those bees. Oh, there are two of them. Okay. They're like, we're just here for the servant, man. Don't erase this. I won't. Use the pedals, use the shock jump disc. Sorry about that break. We are on the organ now. And man, this is a nice organ. And they've got the little notes imprinted in gold on here. That's, on, that's awesome. Oh, hey, um, great camera. Hi, Master Hand. Mozart plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Well, I hope so. I'm amazed at the programming for this part. Because the keys like actually change sound depending on when you hit them. Not bad there, but now watch me copy this tune and amazed I'll be. Okay. I don't know how to play piano myself or the organ. I can copy what other people do. Well, now we're playing all the minor keys, eh? Yeah, when he pushed that key, it sounded slightly different than what I did. are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Thank you, Mott's hand. Is that like Mozart? Mozart's hand? Ooh. 
That's a short organ, though. Wow. Thank goodness. So now we can actually climb up it. Ooh, wait. Fine. Good luck. There we go. New Jiggy. We're halfway there. Whoa, we on there. And there's a flight pad over here. Yes, we can go even higher in the church. Let's reach the rafters. There's a hollow honeycomb piece up here. Now we have to be very careful though, because if we step off the cliff, we are absolutely dead. And the camera is not going to be very helpful. It refuses to be straight at this part. So just take it slow, especially just in case the camera decides to switch on you all of a sudden. And speaking of switch, it's the witch switch. Interesting, it appears inside the grunty statue's eye. Alright, well this is the part where I hope you learned how to fall from high heights without taking damage. You don't have to do that, but that's the easiest way by far. You can do a jump and then a hover onto the organ, like the top of the organ there, or on one of these torches. But if you know that trick, then absolutely use that trick. It's so much easier. That was a good sermon. <laughs> Don't come back. <laughs> it's a good thing the door didn't actually close in the two seconds it was supposed to after we entered. What a relief. One other thing we can do, well actually there are a few other things we can do. We can climb the mansion. I wonder what's in here. these stuff. We'll have to come back later when we can. Stupid bats. Right on this corner. Should we grab it? Yep. Stupid. I hate the bats. They have such tiny, like, hit boxes, but their hurt boxes are really good. Well, you won't hear that fanfare unless you've, um, done the secret thing kind of like Shark Food Isle. Hey, dude, what's up? Where's the cake fat to fit in Longo's mouth? Uh, I don't want to fit in Longo's mouth. Goodbye, Longo. What kind of a name is Longo? I guess Longo's a better name than Clongo. Again. There we go. And that window will not actually knock you back, thank goodness. Welcome to the bedroom. Oh yeah. Yellow Jinjo's up here. Just missing green Jinjo. That why do I keep thinking invincibility is down C? I just don't know. Wait, I didn't check the bed. Get back there. It's just eggs. Well, there's 
green ginger. Grab it. We actually got a lot of notes, more notes than I thought. We would lose that. Oh, it's dark. I can barely see where I'm going. Alright. I'm enter this window as well. Up to 82. I like that. That's a nice even number. Whenever I have an odd number of notes, I feel a little paranoid. Like, did I miss one somewhere? I didn't. Now watch this. Whoosh! High jump. Now we're going down the chimney. And we're back in this room. So remember. Oh, he's back to sleep. And remember how when we stepped on the log, when we stepped on the plank. He woke up. Well, we can do a jump up here. Double jump. We are touching the floor. And grab the jiggy. Grunty's gold, how it shone. She'll be mad now it's gone. Yes, I'm mad. My boot I'll put up your useless spooky butt. That was an imperfect rhyme, Grunty. <laughs> In terms of linguistically, it's, it looks the same, but it sounds very different. Oh, there's a one up in the chandelier. Might as well grab it. <laughs> wow, okay, I thought I would hit the loading zone before I crash. Apparently you can't. So we're missing... I think there's free jigs on this level. Yep. Alright, but there's still another place we need to go. Uh, let's see. I do get lost on this level. Here we go. Hedge maze over here. Many people will actually go here first when they reach the level. And I think I've already explored all of it. Yeah. It actually is connected to the hedge maze of the church. Okay, so here we, here's where we wanted to go. So past the greenhouse, we will make our way towards the fountain that had the blue ginger, but we can actually double back up here. It's an old well. I would not advise you go inside here, though. It's filled with whiplashes that are likely to kill you. This is surprisingly upbeat music considering it's like a quiet house. Oh, apparently Grunty's making, like, witch brew in there, and it hurts to be in there. Anyhow, we've explored pretty much the entire level, except we still haven't found everything. Oh, blow it on them. However, you may have noticed that it's appeared on screen a few times. Mumbo is on this level. Here's Mumbo's skull. We can high jump up into this broken wall. And here he is. Nothing behind his skull. Alright, maybe it's just Bubblegood Swamp that has that. Hey, Mumbo. He's 20. Don't, don't worry about me, Mumbo. I'll, I'm gonna pay you. I just I want to rob your house first. Wee! 
One gold feather? That's it, bro? Alright, here's 20 mumble tokens. And this transformation is terrible. Ah, uh, mumble proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. This is probably the worst transformation in the whole game. It's the pumpkin. What's its special power? It's small. That's literally it. Every single Momo transformation is small, but also has other abilities. The pumpkin, no. It can jump, but its only use is being able to fit through small ones. That is literally it. Yeah. Why did this take four times as many Mumbo Tokens as the Termite? There's a Jiggy in here, but we can't actually reach him. Too small! We can't jump high enough. Which makes sense, because pumpkins don't have any muscles. Do not step on the exit pad by mistake. That would be very bad. What we want to do is we want to enter, we want to find our way into that part of the hedge maze that has the mumbo token and the ramp, because that'll help us get up to the second floor of the mansion, because we can't jump up there or climb up the pipes. So what you can do is if you look really closely, there's a tiny little hole in the wall here. You can pass through that as a pumpkin and get this to this secluded part of the hedge maze. Excellent camera, A+. Plus. Yeah, but there's this little slope that'll take us up high. Now we can walk around on top of the hedge maze. Across here, and bada bing bada boom. We can also walk up slopes as the pumpkin. That's about it. So now that we're small enough, we can go under here, get the other holly honeycomb piece, and get that gold feather. Actually, there were a few gold feathers we can get. Sweet! Now we go in here for forever gross time. Hey, Lago. Happy landings, little one. Yeah, we get flushed down the toilet. And there's a jiggy on a conspicuous brown pile of something. Yep. And I believe that's it. Let's get out of here. Actually, wait, I thought there were some notes in there. Nope. No notes. Let's get out of there. I can't believe you went in there! Now wash your hands, you filthy bear! I don't have hands since I'm a pumpkin, so... Mumbo, don't put me in soup now. It's gonna be gross. One other thing we can do up here, you see that little hole? This is the gutter. We can fall down it. Onto the jiggy in here! One jiggy left, and we're still missing several notes. Well, now that we're a pumpkin, we're gonna go to back to that, um... What do you call it? The well we saw earlier. You can swim in the well as Banjo, but it's really annoying and it's much easier to do it as the pumpkin. Jump in, we fall down, and here we are. There are a lot of whiplashes at the bottom, but yeah, you see how narrow these gaps are between them and the notes. That's why you want to be the pumpkin. Ooh, and the final note, there we go. You 
found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. And then we're going to go up here and grab the final G. Yeah, you can do that as Banjo, but it's much easier to do as the pumpkin. All right, that's everything in Mad Monster Mansion. So, let's get out of here. And we need to, uh, wait, hang on, is that a Momotobe over here? No, that was just eggs. So we have to leave this world as a pumpkin, much like we had to do, we had to leave the world as the crocodile and the termite. <laughs> because there are places we can only reach as the pumpkin in Grunty's Lake. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. That's the one and only thing. Well, so now there are the living gravestones in the lobby, because it brings enemies every time you enter the world for the first time. And we can't attack them, and we can't run away from them, really, unless we get a good head start. We're going to go down here to the other abandoned shack. There's a tiny, tiny hole in the door that we can go through. Even though it doesn't look like it. And it's Mumbo! He's in Grunty's lair. Turn me back. Thanks! Let's smash up in the cauldron. Push this switch. That raises the water level up in that room ever so slightly. Now we can get to a lot of new places in that room. But we still want to be the pumpkin, because there was another thing we need to do. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. Me get pot ready. No, you don't want this pumpkin. I am a living, breathing, sentient person, and I got flushed down a toilet, so you really don't want to eat me. It's a good rule of fun to have. Don't eat anything that got flushed down the toilet. Especially a toilet as nasty as Lago. And that was Mad Monster Mon Mad Monster Mansion. <laughs> I really like that world. It's the last world that I actually really like. The next, the last two worlds, because we only have two worlds left. Um, one of them is just really, really not fun, and the other, it's good. I like, I really like parts of it, but it's just too big and too long. All right. Now we've no. That part is very difficult. Thankfully, we've got plenty of lives. Okay, yeah, I, cause I like... The, the fact that the camera's so bad is not helping. The fact that everything is different shades of red also doesn't help, nor does the fact that the lights are constantly blinking on and off. We're a pumpkin, we can go down this tunnel that we saw much earlier. And it's Cheeto again! Hey Cheeto! Cheeto, Baron Bird have found once more another spell they did. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn! Nasty witches, so cold I shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on the sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. That's the next cheat. I wonder what that does. <laughs> Last time we typed in blue eggs and that gave us double the egg capacity. I wonder what will happen when we do that with feathers. But that's all the time we have for this episode of Banjo Kazooie. Thanks so much for watching and tune in next time. We still have to, we're going to activate that cheat, we're going to get the Witch Switch Jiggy from Mad Monster Mansion, and we're going to enter World 8. The most annoying and difficult world in the game. Oh boy, that actually might end up being three videos, depending on how bad it is. Look forward to that! Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.